characteristics are of, of again, any, any given model. So uh, Motor Solve allows four types of analysis in general. The, an equivalent circuit-based analysis, AC analysis, pulse width modulation, and motion analysis, the, the distinctions of which I will get into in a, in a short while. But I also want to, um, uh, there are two other options that allows the user to instantly uh, to access uh, various uh, uh, the analysis features of any given model. So these, uh, in, in, in particular, uh, the uh, uh, nameplate, uh, a nameplate that summarizes uh, a number of parameters, such as the number of phases, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the frequency, uh, volts, RPM, amps, um, horsepower, power factor, and efficiency, uh, which are results that are uh, computed based on the equivalent circuits of any given model are reported instantly or, or can be computed by simply selecting from the performance table um, of, um, uh, from, of the uh, uh, of the analysis um, of the results section in Motorsoft. Uh, besides the nameplate, uh, are also available uh, the equivalent circuit of any given model. So here you see an example of this, where for the model that we created um, uh, during this uh, webinar, uh, here's, here are the uh, various uh, components of the uh, uh, various components of the equivalent circuit, a standard equivalent circuit that. Uh, uh, most of you will be uh, familiar with. That also includes uh, an accurate computation or estimation, APA-based estimation of the uh, core loss values uh, of the um, for the model, as well as uh, as well as the leakage um, the leakage values, um, the leakage inductances, and the ohmic losses. Loss components are all uh, are obvious from the um, from this uh, from this. Uh, uh, output. Uh, Motosolve computes uh, the equivalent circuit parameters using a classic and a quick method. Uh, by a classic method is meant the uh, the no load and no slip conditions uh, or tests that are simulations, uh, which once again are FEA, FEA based, uh, to compute the various uh, components uh, of the equivalent circuit. And a quicker method that also is that is also FEA based and takes into account the um, uh, the inductance, the leakage inductances uh, of the uh, of the model. Uh, when when using the um, uh, when using the um, the uh, uh, the classic method, it is possible to uh, specify uh, the ratios of the leakage inductances uh, uh, that is that can be set by the user uh, to uh, to compute the um, uh, the equivalent circuit parameters. Uh, it is also possible to generate, having um, created a model, a performance uh, envelope, if you may, if you may say, of um, of, uh, of a ro torque versus uh, synchronous speed at a, at the fixed uh, slip for uh, for any given model. And here, here you see a series of graphs that uh, tell you the um, the maximum pull out uh, pull out ro uh, torque that uh, uh, that can be achieved from a given model. Uh, for as a as a function of uh, synchronous speed uh, at a fixed speed uh, at a fixed uh, slip uh, that is uh, of uh, that would be of interest to the machine designer. Uh, you can also get a summary of um, of the performance characteristics of um, of the model. So here you see a list of um, uh, parameters, a uh, list of parameters such as the torque versus the rotor speed, the efficiency. Uh, the power factor, uh, the RMS current, etc. That is uh, that can be summar that is summarized, and uh, these results uh, that are uh, first available to the user are all results that are based on the equivalent circuit analysis that I was just talking about, uh, in which um, ACA uh, computations are done at the um, at the uh, rated operating point or the operating point of the uh, that were defined in the general. Uh, the general uh, uh, properties uh, step of the design process, and uh, and uh, and all of the other uh, values for these various entities uh, as a function of rotor speed are uh, computed based on uh, the equivalent circuit parameters that were obtained uh, at at that operating point. So, uh, in addition, of course, there are other. Um, you can also uh, ha look at these graphs individually. Uh, such as efficiency, uh, power factor, and so forth. 
these are all available to you instantly once uh, you've done one of these solves uh, using the uh, for, for the performance characteristics of any given machine. Um, to give to provide the user maximum flexibility in terms of the ability to change operating points and uh, for any given particular analysis type, um, you can then move on to the equivalent circuit analysis option where details of um, the various types of entities that the user has, um, the user uh, may be interested in is listed. So uh, I showed earlier uh, torque efficiency and a number of other um, uh, results uh, for the model, but here you see an exhaustive list for the equivalent circuit parameter, uh, circuit-based analysis of all of the uh, results that are available to the user. And uh, once again, to be able to vary various aspects of the uh, uh, various uh, operating point for these results, uh, the user can specify the synchronous speed. Uh, the voltage method can be uh, constant. It can specify um, a constant voltage or constant volts per hertz. Uh, can be specified by the user, as well as changing the uh, slips, uh, um, uh, which can be uh, which can be specified uh, as a list or uh, or as a range. Uh, to be able to give the user the maximum flexibility of being able to take advantage of the FEA aspect of this model, uh, the user can also specify the speed and accuracy trade-off for not only for equivalent circuit analysis but for every other type of analysis in modus of induction motor. And the beauty of this, um, of this feature is that what this allows you to do is as this parameter varies from value of 1 to 10, 1 corresponds to results being obtained from the coarsest possible mesh uh, that will allow, um, that will give the user a sort of a very quick and easy, uh, a quick and uh, uh, a quick set of results uh, based on which to, uh, to follow through in the design process. So, uh, obviously, as uh, as this number gets higher, uh, the computational time will also increase correspondingly, uh, but the accuracy of the computations will will, uh, will also increase with it, um, uh, corresponding to uh, more finer and finer meshes as well as uh, higher um, uh, uh, polynomial interpolation interpolation uh, uh, orders of polynomial interpolation that is used for the FA computations and. Uh, and I want to mention that this 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 control that the user has over this incorporates uh, an automatic resetting or automatic uh, computation of of the mesh levels that um, is really based on uh, our experience in 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 tens of years of of uh, with finite element analysis for the most efficient computational algorithms uh, for doing such uh, for, for such accurate uh, computations. So moving on to the next. Um, moving on